invest in Jay-Z. If it's too expensive for you. I'm saying the interior needs to be correct before you start like advertising yourself as something that you're not. Mm. So the interior, like his working stuff is that's the example that I'm giving. Not title mm. as title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's up to you. Do what you like. Like you're your in person. But I'm saying hire you're 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 hiring. And then you're there quickly to say like don't support Apple music because it's white people trying to blah, 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 blah. My G, they yeah, still offer fair. the same services that's as you. Your interior needs, and, and this whole thing of like, no, but the, the whites are like professional, it's your CV and da, da, da. stop. Yeah, I, there I, are I, people I, that are sick, um, are even like yeah. more intelligent or like more thing, and they happen to be your same. You've just not actively looked for them. Like, LinkedIn yeah, exists, yeah. Monster exists. You, yes. you have a whole hiring staff, you have yes. a section. Yeah, Every please. single corporation has HR. Mm -hmm. HR's job is to hire people. Yes. Tell those people, hey look, this is the percentage that I want, if not 100%, yes. I would like... Yeah, not 100 you get your money government. Yeah, you can't do that. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Well, 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 no, 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 you shouldn't. No, 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 no,
because a lot of people don't want you to succeed yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's why that's why i can say like a lot of african restaurants will put the face <coughs> as a white man or as an asian person yeah, or yeah. as a because you don't you can't be bothered anymore you're tired yeah. of fighting you are tired yeah. of fighting and that's what i'm saying like if i'm not saying stop fighting but i'm just saying like it, it, it's i feel like the more businesses we open like brush it out of your change. mind exactly brush it out of your mind that oh when i get a business i'm i'm gonna use a white solicitor and a mm -hmm. white this and a white that because they're better mm -hmm. or they're more like qualified mm -hmm. it's That's not right. true mm -hmm. it is not of true course. same with the nail technicians bare black girls go to camberwell my, my nail technician both of them she's an asian lady she really slays my nails but mm -hmm. there are in that same place there are black nail mm -hmm. but we just all seem to assume not all. very very talented and very very like educated mm -hmm. you come here like we were saying before, like they can literally step one foot in our land, like in our countries, and they become millionaires. Mm -hmm. Children run after them in the street. Oh yeah, my yeah. god, they're so happy. I go back, they don't care. Yeah. It really hurts my heart. But you come here and they see you as dirt. But yeah, I've got six degrees and fifth and fifth. The person that's coming straight out of yeah, college yeah. gets a job before me. It's it's kinda like it's still not it's not fair. Yeah. I, it will never be fair. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like we need to we need to constantly I feel like if we constantly like reassure our people that we're there to help them and pick them up mm -hmm. it, you won't be hurt when as they tells you no thank you or yeah. organizations that are not as like big organizations say no because you'll be like ah, cool i'm just gonna go you are no, you know that you're being looked after no, a lot of the time we don't seem to we don't know if we're being looked after because yeah. you might go to the job interview a black lady's interviewing you and it's almost like you feel like she's like it's like there can't be two jigaboos in the village. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. it's just a bit. <laughs> yeah, literally. I just making that like I agree with everything that you guys have said. I was just my point was just more that don't discredit what's going on. Don't discredit what's going on. Like we need to look at some of these statistics a bit more critically and yeah. understand. I think my thing as well is like when we talk about black people, there are so many different levels to that yeah. in terms of, and we can't dismiss culture because like we like to talk as if we're all like one big happy family but the truth is there's there's beef between a lot of cultures or countries black people yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what i mean and we can't we can't think that move like that doesn't exist because it does but then that's the same mentality. yeah definitely mm -hmm. that's in our community that's killing us i think everyone's trying to climb to the top and pulling everyone down the the gets i feel like you know okay this kind of Slightly, we're talking about, but kind of different as well. You know, this whole these clubs that don't want to let black girls, especially, into them. Why are so many girls still trying to get into them? Still trying to, yeah. Like, I feel like economic power is everything. If this club doesn't like black people, why are you trying to go spend your twenty twenty pounds to get in? It's about, and other black, like black guys as well. Like, if you know that this environment doesn't respect yeah. your people, you. why are you trying to give them your money? Like your hard earned money. I think it's the most ridiculous thing ever. Yeah, yeah. Or companies you know that are harming your people in wherever it is that yeah. we might come from. This like they slave labour, yeah. all of these kind of things. Why are we supporting those kind of businesses? Yeah, I heard about, I heard about Tory Lanez, what happened recently? Yeah. 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 And the, 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 he spent, he spent, he spent, he spent this? You know what happened, yeah? Alright, basically, Tory Lanez was in one, in one um, store, yeah? And the, there was a white security guard, no, white employee, who was tell, basically telling him he, he, he thinks he can't afford the stuff, he should leave the store and stuff, he shouldn't be here, yeah? So Tory Lanez, instead of, instead of leaving, he now thinks, alright, you know what? I'm gonna bam, I'm gonna through. splash 30 racks on this place here, yeah? He spends 30 racks in that same store that told him that he can't afford their stuff, just to prove a point that he can. But you know what, what he I did, do, what he did, I'll go buy it elsewhere and return it to the shop, did, yeah, you better not. What he did, he told them, don't give the commission to that guy, give it to another guy, but still you're spending the money in that same store. Exactly, that's, yeah. he's like, getting that's that ignorant. same salary. He, he thinks that he, he got one up on the guy, yeah, but, but he, he looks like a really. flipping idiot. Like, he's made himself But that's like, another thing. Senseless. A, what spec I think this is specific to mm. America, but mm. we seem to spend our money elsewhere the most, yeah, like on yeah. brands mm -hmm. that we we don't we waste yeah. our money and we yeah. get nothing out of it. Yeah. Literally, we'll, yeah. we'll buy Gucci, we'll buy mm -hmm. Louis Vuitton, we'll buy all these things, but then the money goes out and nothing comes back into our community. And yeah. That's another thing. It's like we want all of the jewels of success, but we we. Mm -hmm. We don't reinvest it 
to, to in order to go. You must have probably watched it. Doctor, uh, you know, don't say, don't say anything. Be careful with him, you know. Yeah, okay, yeah, I understand why. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. But the point, the point I'm gonna make, piggybacking on what she said. Um, is very re re relevant. I understand what you're saying, it's ignorant, etc. But you can have to look behind the curtains and try and understand what the problem is. So it's that basic concept of self-worth. So if you believe you're not um, of a particular standard or you don't hold yourself in high regard, that you need to surround yourself with all, the, all, with all of these things. And then yeah. that, that alone, if we can address that and somehow try and and solve that, a lot of these problems will now start eradicating. So we can talk about this, that, and the other. And the thing is, let's be honest, we're probably all here guilty of it ourselves. Like, I can jump up and down and say, yeah, you know, I can, you know, throw whatever slurs at Tory Lanez, but I know time and time, especially in my younger years, I've probably done silly things that will perpetuate my so-called mental awareness of someone that is trying to surround myself with things that allow me to be valued so to speak but yeah i think that's something that we need to address yeah. self-worth or self -value. that organizing culture like you saw it with like civil rights movement and whatnot like that all and in in this country as well like organizing to boycott things i feel like that needs to just come back, come back. real quick Amen. because when you take like i think some of us forget the power of like money Companies will shut down if they don't have resources. Like, if you don't give money to a company, if like 80% of your clientele is black and you decide that you're going to stop spending money there, they will collapse. Like, yeah. just naturally, mathematically, well, like, it won't, it won't work. That some companies are too big to fail as well. Of course, that's they true. Get back up that's true. That's, that is true. And but I just feel like, in terms of our money, like, we shouldn't put it in places which are actively trying to harm us. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Or actively don't respect us. I just think it's yeah. ridiculous. I really do. I feel like we, we pretty much agree. Yeah, like yeah. that. We need, to need to, we need to do better. <laughs> oh, but the also recognise the forces. Sorry, yeah. The district thing. I feel like a solution to that. And definitely, if you're going to boycott it, boycott it properly. If you see someone of your race or whatever just being denied, doesn't matter the reason as to why they're denied. Step the hell out of the queue and walk yourself home. Because at the end of the day. Like it could be anyone. Don't make it have. Don't make it have to be a thing where like, oh, it didn't happen to me. So, or I was dressed appropriately. Fam, we were literally talking. We were, yeah, we we do that. Yeah, we spoke about that on our blog, antisocialsocialist.com. Um, um, we we spoke about that yesterday. We were dressed like really really nicely, and um, the other black guy that was there dressed to the nines looking nice and then there were people in trainers sandals tracksuits mm. and they were in the club mm. but there were people outside that were being turned around talking about you're wearing flats and a b c d and i'm looking like not black people no not black people i didn't see any no, black you people saw one one to, what's that one called liberty no no aristocrat aristocrat oh yeah aristocrat there was there was guys that came out like black guys that were in there like this is when there was quite a few black people in the club they were in furs and chains like you know like the black status symbol of wealth if you will they came out dressed to the nines and in that same queue there were guys that were in white guys white men no but the thing is that, that before were, we got in the girl was like oh can i see your outfit because we mm. really care about how everyone looks and then so i was really baffled when we got in there and get at the table and then there's this white guy wearing a tracksuit like full-on full on tracksuit, tracksuit. Suit. and i was like with air force ones Air Force Ones. Mm. Is that tracksuit Gucci yeah. though? <laughs> no. It was, it. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was a girl that was wearing a knitted jumper that was Gucci, but I was just very like, you look trash. Mm. Like, it might be designer, mm. but it does not look appealing or presentable. Yeah, standard. She kind of looked scruffy. Mm. Her head kind of looked unbrushed, if I do say so myself. But like, I was just kind of like, just a minute ago, we were asked, oh, excuse me, can you just open up your jacket? We need to see. Okay. Those heels are nice. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, you can go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she made it into the club. I understand like maybe like a, um, a bunch of wealthy people. They're known in that area, so they get in regardless of anything. But I'm just saying like if you're gonna make a rule, if you're gonna make a regulation, make sure that it applies to all. Or at the end of the day, we should just all walk. I just feel like you should just walk. If you see someone is like same goes for like a lot of organizations, the Tesco's, the Asda's and blah blah blah. Or even the the corner shops that be following our people around. Don't go there. Mm. Like 
don't go there like saying that I'm coming at them aggressive or shouting when I'm actually talking in a very calm manner. Mm -hmm. So many people, people of um, colour, um, not necessarily black, but people of colour, other people of colour and white people will always turn around to me, especially if I'm making a good point, they'll be like, oh, all right, that whole, oh, what? Mm -hmm. no need to shout. Is that what they say, no need to shout? Yeah, that no need, it's always, it's yeah. like always, 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 well, no need to shout. Or and then, <laughs> School, like if someone was like arguing with you about something and it's like they'll start crying and then everyone will be like I'm crazy so I start crying like when I was in an argument I was like I'll be the victim like, let me cry because yeah. like, like, then you're being aggressive to me mm. yeah because it, you're always the, the point you're making everyone will agree up until that whole oh don't shout and then the story will flip and I feel as though like I'm not gonna feed into it anymore like I'm tired these times if I see someone being kicked out of the queue that's the thing I haven't I don't really go clubbing that much. Like, if I go to a bar and I see someone not getting in and they happen to be the colour of my skin, I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna go home and watch Love Island. I don't wanna come out anyway. Bye. I'm gone. Yeah. But I feel like if we all had the same mentality, a lot of, because we are a huge, as much as we say we're a minority, a huge amount of us do go out to these places. Mm. A huge amount of us. And we do make, we, our voices do matter. Mm. I feel. Um, yeah. Because we have a lot of buying power, there's a lot of spending power too, and we spend it in the wrong places. Yeah. We make other other company, other places rich, yeah. and other communities rich, and our, our own community is saying nothing. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, we need to use our buying power, yeah, we need to use our buying power for our own community. We, there's so much that we can do as, as people, mm. so much that we can do, but we're not doing. Mm. Like, we, I, I, we think we can't do it, we like to blame other people, oh, this happened, that happened, it's made us like this, but we just need to go ahead and start, start mm. doing it. Like even what Abs is doing here, this is a start. Like he's doing his thing. Mm -hmm. I think more of us need to have that entrepreneurial mindset to do something, even if we're not sure if we see the end result yet. Do something. Mm -hmm. Start. I think progress needs to be taught to us because it's like, um, for, for instance, like. Um, Muslims and Jews, they have after schools for their kids so that they will know that, that, that culture and that religion. Mm. So why don't we genuinely, after school is finished, like you need to educate your children on like, because it's not just about the paper value of it all, you can apply it to so much. Financial literacy will take you so far. But the thing is, we weren't, we weren't taught that. We had to find, we had to learn for ourselves, like when it came to building our brand and building our business, mm. we've had to fail, rebrand, fail, rebrand, in order to come as a unit and be like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. But if our, if our kids know and they grow up knowing, there will be no, oh, he, oh damn, after uni, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I might do part-time, no. He's gonna have his own thing going on or she's gonna have yeah. her own thing going on. Like from young, they will understand and they will know, I'm not gonna, I'm not really gonna, buy from there because yeah. they'll understand the politics of it all. Mm. Do you get what I mean? On top of that, you need to teach your children loyalty. Mm. I'm sorry, but I don't understand why it's being demonized within our communities. Why is loyalty demonized? What is the problem with it? I don't understand oh, what the problem demonized. with, because a lot of people, oh, why the, why? Because, why, why teach loyalty to your kids amongst your community? Someone actually said that. Yeah, a lot of people, people say, say all the time. People, people will be like, why, why should we teach loyalty? Oh, but then it teaches your kids to hate. No, what? it does not. It does not teach your kids to hate. You need to teach your children from a young age loyalty to your to your community mm. because if you feel if you feel that if something bad is to happen to your brother or sister, mm -hmm. if even if you don't know them, you'll speak up. Yeah. Something will be happening to a black person, even if it's for banter, well stuffy, you bring out your phone, instead of for you to yeah. act. Yeah. A lot of other races, and I don't so like true. comparing, I don't like comparing because I feel like we need to focus on ourselves, but a lot of other communities, if they see it, they are there. They stamp it Even out. If I, if I use a, an example, Somalians, it's they true. don't play. Somalians they do not, not play. play. Because at the end of the day, that's my brother, that's my sister. How dare you? Whereas us, we're even laughing and joking, or even we're, we're making excuses for why that is happening to them. It's not fair, and I feel like, Okay, maybe it's too late for us, but definitely, definitely instill that into your children. Loyalty, financial literacy, and the understanding of how the world works. Teach them politics if it even matters, because at the end of the day, they need to walk around with their eyes open. Mm. And they need to know their rights before even they're on the floor. Mm. How dare you? You don't touch me. I don't know your badge number. I don't even know your name. Why the hell are you so close to me? Mm. These are laws. Police officers don't know them, but we should. Mm. 
that's just how I feel when it comes to those type of situations. If you're going to be equal, you need to have that mindset as well. I just feel like the internal needs to be right before anything else works. I definitely agree. A starting place would be um, any sort of industry or like, um, yeah, any sort of industry that we supposedly have the most influence, for instance, entertainment, music, whatever you want to call it. That's why I like, especially in this country, I'm not going to lie, I feel like compa compared to a lot of other Western communities, we have taken a grip on our own industries, like you can talk about Link Up TV, Grand Daily, all these other like um, platforms, they have taken it by so called the balls and like made it their own. So big up to them, yeah man, just start start there and I suppose branch out. But yeah, that's the end of the discussion. Appreciate you guys. Oh Yeah, go on, yeah, you could definitely have a little shot after you go on. Uh, I was gonna be like, we need to call out the people that aren't doing these things. Yeah. Like for instance, I said the whole title thing, call it out, say it how it is, because at the end of the day, then it almost puts that whole like, oh damn, like are you right, kind of thing. Whereas like if you let it be the way that it is, it's really hard for us to progress. I feel like it needs to be called out as soon as you see it. Don't give your brothers and sisters an excuse because at the end of the day, it will implicate and it will affect you. So I just kind of feel like call it out as you see it. Yeah. So are we saying that it's mostly our fault that we're not equal in no, this society? No, 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 or I'm saying partly I'm our fault? Saying, no, I'm saying the solution. I'm not yeah. saying like the victim, like I'm tired so of it. So do you think it. the solution is purely down to us? Yeah, yeah. no one else is going to say that. It's Nobody else is going to say that. We are for us to be equal, we have to change our mindset and how, the way we do things. We need to change our approach. Okay, definitely, so I agree with that. Definitely mindset, change our approach. I, like I said, the internal needs to be fixed up before yeah. you can move forward. Yeah. 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 So whether it be your mindset, cool, but definitely, 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 it needs, there needs to, the change, we are the solution. At the end of the day, yeah. who are we waiting on? Yeah, Do you know I what agree I with that. Do you want to say the mindset? Mm. Sorry, Angela. Do you know what I say? Because I've, I speak to a lot of black people. A lot of, obviously, I'm, I'm into business. I'm into a couple of things on the side and stuff. Mm. But I tell a lot of people about opportunities that they can get involved in, they can do. Mm. And I like to help. Obviously, I'm not biased, but I like to help my people first, as everyone else does. Yeah. But I, I put it to them, and all I get is negativity. Oh, I don't see how this could work. Oh, what about this, that, 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 that? Oh, that's the white man's game. Look. Investing, look, we, we know about Wall Street. Black, Wall Street was black Wall Street before anything. Do you know how many black people don't know this? They're so uneducated. They tell me, oh, oh um, Wall Street, trading, that's, that's the white man's game. I say, you don't even know what the hell you're saying. That was a black man's game first. But we've been so conditioned to think that business is not for us. But that's what I'm saying. So, like, the mindset maybe, is strong. Maybe, I'm, like I'm saying, maybe it's too late for us. It's but definitely, I, 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 said, I said maybe. I said maybe. I said maybe. It might not be. I don't know. No, but if it's but what late, I'm saying well is, yeah. no, de definitely, 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 definitely not. The, mm. It's not doing nothing because the the generation after us is is coming. Like, it's, it's here. It is here. Like, educate as much as you can. But what I'm saying is, after you're not here, there needs to be change, mm. and the change needs to come. Hopefully, I pray before I even start having children. It needs to be a but change. on top of that, I need my children to contribute. You need to contribute to the growth of us. Otherwise, what is the point? Mm -hmm. What is the point? Mm -hmm. Like, it is just, it's, there's no point. Mm -hmm. Like, we might as well just die off now. Like, what's the point? Mm -hmm. You need to make, yeah. Can I make last comment? Um, firstly, I think that, um, I'm what you said, piggyback on what you said, I'm happy you said as well. Um, we can absolutely make a change now and start to make a change. Like, um, I was reading, well, like, I, I, I like to, Listen to a guy called Dr. Boyce Watkins and he talks about, um, yeah, he's, he, uh, he's a solid guy. And um, some of the, like, for instance, talking about like, wealth accumulation, the biggest free, um, no, capitalist society is working in favor of people that do three things own their own business, invest in property, and invest in the stock market. You can invest in the stock market with five pounds. Yeah. Literally, a diverse stock portfolio. I, 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 heard, I, I started listening to you first of all when you started talking about it, then I started to realize, oh wow, this is really like, and when you actually like understand how basic it is, investing in the stock market, you can almost equate it to investing in property because it's just the same thing, it's just the accumulation of wealth, it's just every single, instead of spending 10 pound there, maybe you spend your little 5 pound and put it into whatever so, so, so stock and it will grow and you'd be surprised what can happen over one generation, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, you can literally change your financial position for your whole family, let alone your community. So yeah, man, you can change the game, man. 
I do think there's other structural things as well, which I will say. There, there are. That exists. And yeah. like, to go back to what we were kind of talking about right at the beginning about other races who, um, like financially um, or economically, are really up there, social problems still exist. Yeah. And I don't think we should like act like those things will just disappear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it, obviously we are a change, but there, there is there are other forces yeah, that, do you know what I mean? So we can talk about Jews, for example. Jews have always had, like, they're all, historically, they've been doing well financially. Yeah, yeah, the Holocaust yeah. still happened. Largely, people would argue, because, because of that propaganda, because they were doing so well. So I think it, we shouldn't try and act like just because people are economically well, that all the other problems disappear, because that's just not the truth. And, hi and, his and history shows us that. Of course, it's a start, but it doesn't eradicate all the problems. If we're talking about, we're talking about Asians, we're talking about Muslims, we're talking about Jews. Those problems don't just disappear because there are other factors at play. Obviously, we need people, black people in business area. We need black politicians. We need laws that change because structurally, legally, there are systems that are in like designed to harm us or to work against us, and those things need to be changed. And those things won't necessarily just be changed by economic change. I was going to say, in, in order to for us to be in those positions, you need to become influential in some type of like in some type of sort. So, like in order, yeah. But I'm saying that's the best way forward. That is genuinely the best way forward for us to even put our foot in that door, in the door, because you're respected way more. Like you can even sit at the table to have that conversation. What if I'm like prime minister two years down the line? Do you not think I'm going to be powerful? I'm, be, I'm going to be well, able to. And, I'm going to be able to. I'm going to. If I'm in that position, do you not think I'm going to be able to affect the, my, my community? My, my point Obama. is, Obama wasn't able to. Do Obama. It. But Obama, this is the thing yeah, people get so <laughs> twisted about Obama. Obama never claimed he was going to do anything for black people. Obama was a symbol. Somebody like. Bernie Sanders or Jeremy Corbyn, for example, have come out and said that they are against certain systems. But Obama never talked about the fact that he was against the prison okay. industrial system, um, the prison industrial complex. Yeah. None of those things. Obama was very, he was very middle ground. Obama wasn't did this notion of Obama being somewhere far to the left just because he was brown. Okay. Obama, Obama wasn't a radical candidate yeah. by any sense okay, of the word. Okay, real thing, real quick. In order for you to even get into that prime ministerial, if you like, yeah, 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 position. Yeah, position. You, you need, you need backing. You need sponsorships. You need all of what this. About Jeremy Corbyn? Jeremy, Jeremy Corbyn? I'm talking Could about our race. I'm not talking no, no, about the Jeremy Corbyn. Well, well, I'm saying, in order for us, you take politics, right? I'm saying, yeah. if I was to be prime minister, I would be able to. If if I wanted to do so, I'd be able to affect my community. No. If you wanted to do right, that. which is like a, which I could want to what do. What I'm talking about is for you, for someone that looks like me, to even be in that position. It will make it so much easier if we had the backing already. You don't have to beg and plead at to other like other yeah. um, corporations and things like that. You need sponsorships. You need all of this for your election. So you have to go to co uh, companies and corporations and beg them, yo, can I borrow? Da, 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 da. But if you've already got that. It makes it so much easier. So yeah, that's great. You can become prime minister. Make it an option. Make it easier. Yeah. Like make but, it easier. Just, yeah, like the thing is, yes, yeah. it, like economical. The, the point, the point I'm making is that, of course, economics is important, and I can't just be yeah. poor, 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 and be prime minister. Of course, like, that's just not going to happen. But what I'm saying is that let's not focus on, the, let's not ignore the social and political. But the thing is, I feel like because you think, no, no, people yeah, people yeah, can yeah. be economically well off and and do their I own thing. Yeah, I understand what you're and saying. And make no changes. But please understand. Or please understand the connection between yeah. social uh, and politics with the economics. Because exactly. let's be honest. First Definitely. of all, any any black person, or anyone that's far to the left, so to speak, that's going to go into any of these political spaces, they are nine times out of ten tokens. First of all, the people that will eventually. But who are they tokens for if they've been elected by their constituents? Just, just, they, they've got just, strings. Just, just got strings. Okay, for it. String. At the end of the day, if they're I'm if I want to become, so how, but how are we talking yeah. about progress if we're saying that all these all these people are just tokens? But You're telling me all these all these black politicians are just tokens for what? I'm saying that I don't I no longer want to. I'm saying I no longer want to see tokens. I'm saying in order for us, for that to not be a thing, in order for you not to be under someone's thumb, I'm saying I'm saying. As, but, as, a, as a community, we should start working on our economic Of course, but economic, you have to understand, right, that economics makes you even more under somebody else's farm. You realise wow. that? Because if you're asking... If you're, wait, 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 wait. If you're asking... Listen, if you're asking for sponsors...
sponsorship from somebody, you're, you're, they want something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There. You're completely, just, you're completely misunderstanding. Right. That's no, what no, us, no, 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 but you're, no, but you're, you're assuming. Let's, no, you're, no, you're, no, you're assuming no, that just because somebody owns a black business, that they're concerned with what you're doing. No, no, no. no, 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 no you no, you fam, so, you, so you think all these black people that, that, that own businesses are concerned? Do you know how many black people voted for Donald Trump? But that's or have voted for things that don't actively support them? It's, it's, it's a hypocrisy or it is, it's a fallacy to assume that we're all on the same page. But black people are so diverse, there are black middle class, upper class, working class people who have different issues. And to assume that just because someone has a black business that they're trying to support me, I'm living, I'm living in a dreamland. I'm totally living in a dreamland. I really... First of all, I think we're making the same, me and her are making the same point, and we're getting frustrated for the same reason. When we talk about um, owning our own business, our own firm, etc., when you own a complete economic system, yeah, yeah you have, con- first and foremost, let's understand, politics is controlled by money. Everywhere you of, go on the planet. Of course, exactly, that's exactly, 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 exactly. Like I said, for instance, let's say we live in utopia and black people owned 90% of the Western economy. Do right. you think we're not going to be able to affect political change? Of course, exactly, of course, exactly, of course. Exactly, of course. Exactly, exactly. So, in your favor. Exactly, it goes in your favor. For instance, yeah, exactly. if, I, if I'm going to talk about the top 1%, if I, again, I'm going to say Google, Samsung, YouTube, or one of these ginormous corporations, mm-hmm. if the top, um, I don't know, the CEOs or whatever were to say, like, um, say for instance, tax laws were if you're earning above 100k, um, you, you you get taxed by 50 percent. But then if I own literally half of the economy, right. you can actually influence it to be like, if you earn, I don't know, you you, you, you literally have political strings to be like, um, I don't know, I want the tax to be to, to be increased to people that earn 65, uh, um, 100 okay. or 200, whatever mm. it is. Like right. economics works for, before politics. Of course. So what I, the, the point I'm making, right? So if it, just take another example. Elite that own like loads of companies. So they say they're like they take, they make up like. 20% of the black population, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And they're this black elite and I can get sponsorship from them. And they want to stay elite. Say I'm proposing to tax that kind of elite bracket yeah. by like 50%. Do you think they're going to endorse me? If, if, if my justification for that taxing is to make the majority of black people better off, do you think they're going to endorse me just because I'm black? Exactly. No, no, no. Yeah, so okay, tell yeah, me no, how okay, I'm okay, okay, because, because people have... Like, of course, but you're, this, this is the point I'm making. People are assuming that because there are black-owned businesses, that they necessarily are concerned with the reality for the majority of black people. Mm. If you're a black-owned business, do you think do you think Jay Z wants to be taxed 50, 60 percent? Of course he doesn't. But if that, if my justification for that taxation is that it's going to make the lives of the majority of black people better, just because you're black, but you're black elite, you're not going to be concerned with that. You're going to vote for the guy who wants lower tax brackets. But there'll be more of you in that race. No, but. No, no, yeah, I'm saying yeah, the majority of people are not going to be in that oh, okay, part okay, of that okay, elite. Okay, the majority okay, of black people are not going to be part of that okay, elite. Okay, okay. So if I are out here struggling and I'm proposing something that's going to... I then automatically have to, if I want those um, endorsements, I automatically have to change my position to support that black elite. If, if I want that funding from but them. What so what I'm saying is you can't assume that okay. those black people are going to want to support you just because of the colour of your skin. It's about interest. Is that right? In, whether it be the politician that will bend to those whims, that's fine as long as he's black. I'm just saying, in order for I want more of us to be in those positions. And that's I, all I'm I saying. Agree with that, and in order for that to happen, can't assume that because they're there, they're going to be in the interest of the majority. Okay, but how about this? How about, how about this? Okay, how about this? So say for instance, if we had a mass community of black people that are in elite, so let's say the whole community were generally elite in comparison to a lot of the other communities. That would be a Politics, totally different situation. Well, yes, no, yeah, no, no, but think that, no, that, that, that could come potentially from um, investing in ourselves, right? Literally, but if, literally, if we're talking literally, about literally, a capitalist system, the, the majority of black people are not going to be elite. There's okay, always okay. going to have to okay. be okay. The thing is, I, I'm, a, a, a I'm, poorer I, group I, of people. I don't know how I feel about that. Based on the way capitalism works? Yes. Surely. I disagree. Because if you look at China... So you believe we can all be up? Everyone could be up? Yes! Somebody do you know? You think those countries that have poverty? Of course. Every country, every country has poverty. So, but what I'm saying, what I'm is saying is that the majority, like, but I'm not saying all of us. I'm not rich. saying that once you become prime minister, all of us are gonna get rich. But I'm saying that you will, you would make things to want to bend for your good. But whatever and, your interest is, and the domino effect 
aspect of that sometimes will mean, look, Jewish people own a lot of things, right? right? They own a lot of things. There are a lot of things that benefit them and they've made it that way. Why people own a lot of things? They make it that, they make it that it benefits them. That's all I'm saying. I just don't think that's straightforward, but I think it's just leave there. Okay, there's complications to it, but I'm just saying if there's more of you in that position, things things will, will be different. But what I'm saying is it that will have a we can't effect. assume if you look at so many of our own countries with oh no. where, <laughs> where there is a black elite, they don't necessarily benefit the rest of the people. If you look at our, our countries at home, right? Then if if you you look at South Africa for example, South Africa the government is black, right? They they they, they that, you're looking you're looking at you're looking at a black elite. The majority of black people in South Africa are suffering. Why? Zuma's happy. Zuma doesn't care. Zuma's good because it's looking at people who are interested in his interest. Okay, look at Robert Mugabe. He left Jeez. the common, thank you. He left the commonwealth. Yeah. Commonwealth, South Africa is still a commonwealth. That yeah. means that Jacob Zuma doesn't own, like the people, that black elite, it's not real. It's really what not mean, real. What do you mean it's not real? Though? If you're commonwealth, you're still paying to certain people. You still answer to other people. Of course, but you, you don't. Can't, you can't but tell me if, that if, politicians are not rich, though. You can't tell me that. Rich, right. You're not doing it for their people. That's what I'm it's saying. Precisely. But, but, so what I'm saying but, is but, when there's a black and elite, that doesn't automatically but, benefit the black people. There are people like the Robert Mugabe's of the world that were like, I'm going to just like shoo this all away because at the end of yeah, the day, my I, people will still suffer, but at the end of the day, the domino effect, that hopefully, like there will be more of us in these industries. But has that has that been the dominant effect in Zimbabwe? Are black people living good? Okay, okay in how about this? How about this? Though? Like, Why is it not okay? Just it's a very basic. My, my point. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, no, no. Okay, I, I, simply, I, I, I just wanted to, like, I just, a black elite doesn't yeah. automatically okay. mean yes, yeah, that there fair, are black fair, people fair living fair good. That's fair. my point. Fair and fine. But at the same time, if you look at China, India, a lot of these economies that have just popped up in the last 20 years, even Dubai, that's basically an economy its own. Mm. Um, fair enough, I understand. Um, what you're saying, but as a whole, the majority are doing better. So, I understand, yeah, that the majority are doing better well. in, co in comparison. So, for instance, you, you like it's like it's like you're almost saying it's like black people are the only one that um, are not going to necessarily fight for their own. Yeah, they may be. Um, I'm, you, I'm, you not, know, say, I'm you, not saying you, that, I'm yeah, not saying yeah, that no, at but, all. Yeah, but the thing is, as a result. Other, other people or other black people within the community will benefit as well, like they actually will. So if we do create some sort of economic base, yeah, some of the elites at the top may be pricks, etc. And also, if you want to go and relate back to Africa, a lot of these countries are new. Right. Let's be very honest, the independence has been not even, it's not even triple figures yet. So the corruption is standing up, I understand it. I remember okay. those cool analysts about this. Like, you want and to they, talk don't, about they don't understand the corruption itself. They don't understand the, they don't understand. Would and they're in these positions of power. Like a lot of African politicians don't actually understand what, like that they're still under the thumb. They think that now that they've made it mm -hmm. into these positions of power, that they can now start changing the rules and breaking the game of other people's stuff. Like, no, you can't. Yes, you're now president, but no, you can't start doing this, and no, you can't start doing that. But and there they, are things that some politicians can do, but they've chosen not to do because it doesn't, it doesn't benefit their interest. Politics is all about interest, and the link between economics and politics is about interest. People, big corporations, support polit political candidates that will benefit their interests. That's why the gun lobby in America is so powerful. They give billions of dollars to politicians that will vote in favour of them. So all I'm saying is that just because there's a black elite, it doesn't mean they will benefit the majority of black people because that black elite's concerns will probably be largely about economics and their taxation and how their businesses can continue to flourish. That's, that's what I'm saying. And it goes back to when we were talking about, do we want to replicate the same capitalist systems that have been used to disadvantage us? That's, that's all I'm saying. I don't think, I think it's very, romantic to assume that just because we have black people at the upper echelons of society that that's going to trickle down trickle down economics we know this because why are the majority of people still suffering because people care about their own interests that's just the reality of life